Welcome along to this Excel video. Today we'll be working on a Mac using Mac Excel 2011. So I know uh, you Mac users sometimes find it a challenge looking through tutorial videos that are done on PC. So today we're going to do one on a Mac. The basic outline of the session is going to be looking at four formulas and they are really the key ones that you need to know if you want to look through data tables and pull out results. So I've got a data table here in columns J to M. It's a very simple one. It's got four countries and three different match variables. And uh, really we're just going to use that small table to, to look through what index and match can do. So the first one I want to look at is index. Index returns a value based upon a row and column number that you specify. So there, um, on its own, it doesn't seem like the most useful thing, but as we get through the match and VLOOKUP examples, you'll see how index can be pretty useful. So on the simplest level, we can just use um, one variable, either row or column and index. So I'm just going to start typing index. As you can see, the formula tip pops up. What's our array? Let's say our array is that list of countries. I simply want to put down a row number. I'm going to put down row three, close that off. And all the index function is going to do is pull up the third item on the list. If I edited that, <clears throat> and put five, obviously we'd get the fifth item on the list. So that's how index works with a single column of data. If we do it a different way, and we're going all the way across the entire table, <clears throat> what Excel now wants us to do is put both a row and column number in there. So I'm going to go row number two, column number two. And what that should do is give us one, two, five, four. And that is the item over here, which is in the second row in the second column. So index can be pretty useful if you're trying to um, come up with a, uh, a very large data set and pull items out. A very common use that I have is is uh, to pull out weeks from a list. So um, I might have a, a, a table that's got the date of every Monday for an entire year, and I simply want to pull out what is week number six, and it can go through that list and pull out week number six. So, so that's what I, uh, I use index for, and we'll do another example with index in just a second. Match. What match does is it looks through a list and tries to find what number in a list your items in. So if I use Argentina as the example, let's spell that correctly. What do I want to look up? I want to look up Argentina. I want to look it up in that list. And I've got a few options here. I either want an exact match or an approximate match. In my case, I want it to look up Argentina. I don't want it to look up Arge or Tina. I want it to look up the exact word that I've put in. So if I hit enter, it'll tell me that Argentina is in the second row. If I do that again, this time with Brazil, it'll tell me it's the fifth item. So in, conjun <clears throat> in conjunction with index, this match formula is, is incredibly powerful. And so I'm going to show you what I mean by that. First thing I want to do is type in two variables. So I want to find out whereabouts Argentina is in that list. Excuse me.
And then I want to find out where the variable shots is in the list as well. So shots is in column three of the table, Argentina is in row two of the table. So what I can do so I can use those two things to pull out any variable in the table that I like. And so what the value of doing that is, is you can make dynamic little controls. I didn't want to uh, get into this in this video, but I'm, I'm halfway there now, so I'm going to do it. Something you can do, which is very neat, data validation. By clicking on data. And then validation. If you choose, I'll just move this out the way. If you choose list and you make your source that table there, you've now got a little drop list. I'm just going to do the same for the next one. So I can now choose which column. So as you can see here, this result is pulling up whatever variable I can pick from my table using those pick lists. So a combination of index and match becomes a really powerful way to uh, set up a control for another user to go and find data inside a table. All right, next thing we're going to look at is VLOOKUP. What VLOOKUP does is it goes down the first column of the table and it tries to match up your criteria. So we've chosen Argentina, so it's going to go down and find the first uh, row with data in it, and then it's going to go across and pick out whatever values are next to it based upon what we ask. So I want to look up Argentina and pull out these three variables from the table. So VLOOKUP. What do I want to look up? I want to look up the value in A37. And I'm just going to put a dollar sign in front of that. Where's the table that I want to look up? There it is there. And I want to put dollar signs in front of that entire range. Now this is the thing that you need to specify when you're doing a VLOOKUP. What column is the answer that you're looking for found in? So in our case, passes is found in column 2. So I'm just going to put a 2. And the range lookup needs to be true or false. False is like, again, my spelling lets me down, excuse me. False is like that exact match that we used before when we were doing the match function. Now if I just drag this across, it's just going to repeat that formula and we can just do a very slight edit because shots are in column 3 and goals are in column 4. So if I now type in Germany, what it will do is pull out all the German results. So if we look up find something in the first column and returns the values that are next to it based upon the column numbers that we asked for. Now if I put in something that's not in the list, it's just going to come up with an error. So we can build in some other features to prevent that from happening, but for now we won't worry about that. So Australia Argentina, Germany, Brazil, etc. So if I now 
apply some data validation just like we did before. Now we can just pick out whatever we like. So VLOOKUP, absolutely one of the best functions that you will ever learn if you're working a lot with data tables and trying to pull out results. Less useful and less often used is the HLOOKUP. HLOOKUP goes across the top of a table and looks at the column headings and then goes down the number of rows that we asked for. So we can use it, uh, and I sometimes use it in the same way. The syntax of the formula is exactly the same. What's the lookup value? The lookup value is the word passes. Where's the table array that we're looking in? There it is there. Just go through and put those dollar signs in. Instead of a column number, this time it wants to know a row number. And so our row number is going to be based upon what country we want to pull the results from. So Brazil is the number that I've put in A43, so I, I know that that's in 5. So if I drag that across, what we'll find is that it does what it should and pulls across the numbers from Brazil for passes, shots and goals. So if I should be able to copy this. And the validation that we put in this little drop down box is called data validation, should come down with us. It doesn't have a lot of impact because it's not involved in our formula. What I can do is where it's got five here, I can incorporate the match function. To pull out that same value I'll just put some dollar signs in here so that I can drag that formula across so the dollar signs mean that you can drag formulas around without the row and column references changing. So it's probably the most important thing you can learn in Excel when you're working with formulas is about that. So let's see what happens now. Great, so it knows to use the match function to help it determine which column and which row to look in. So there we are, HLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, index and match, really absolutely fundamental things that you want to look to master if you are going to be working with data tables and pulling out dashboards and so on. Thanks for coming by, um, I'm going to bring some more Mac videos along pretty soon. See you next time.